Hello, good evening, and welcome to Treasure Adventure World. My name is Modi Avarandis. This game has been on my radar for a long time. Uh, it popped up on Chucklefish's website, who is the publisher for it. Popped up on their website a while back, and uh, I've been watching it ever since, probably since, like, Starbound came out. That's a long time ago, in the beta. I mean, a long, long time ago. Uh, this game's been out there and developed for a long time, and it's finally, finally, finally getting a release date of February 7th, 2018, so just a few short weeks away now, and you can pick this up on Steam yourself. Uh, this is developed by Rabbit Games and published by Chucklefish, as I mentioned. Uh, they just sent me a copy of it so I can check it out for you guys today, so I'll be doing just that. Check it out with a few videos here and see what we think of it, if we want to continue this or not. Uh, if it's cool, and uh, I hope it will be, because I like the art style of it, I like the premise of just kind of a cool uh, treasure and uh, platforming game. So, let's get into a brand new game of Treasure Adventure World. All right, created profile here, and we'll get into a brand new game. The ancient legend inspired me to become an archaeologist. It made my it made it my life's goal to locate the twelve the heroes, Howins Howins twelve artifacts and share them with the world. It feels like only yesterday that my adventurous brother-in-law Gaugan and his ch kid and I sailed across the world to find them. Okay, I'm liking I'm liking the intro here. This is really cute. It's so kind of an Indiana Jones type, and a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a Henry Jones and a Henry Jones Senior kind of thing going on. Oh, they're brother, and, they're uh, father and son thinking. The Guardians from from Starbound. There is that a reference there? Oh, digging this intro. Pirates on the way! Look out! Get him! Oh, well, he's ready to jump in there with his machete. We're also Ghostbusters, apparently. Uh, this is such a cute intro. Holy cow! All the little adventures and stuff. This is great. This is a great intro. Oh man. <laughs> Just jump right in there, man. Oh man. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Treasure Adventure World. There you have it. That's cool. That was a good intro. I liked it a lot. Five years later. Okay. I, th I thought that the kid looked pretty young there uh, compared to the screenshots I've seen. That's cool. All right. So time has passed. He's a little older, a little wiser, maybe. What's happened to him? We don't know. What's happening to him? I don't know. Okay. Good morning. The time has come to reclaim your past. A new adventure awaits you. Look for my emissary to guide you. But be warned, an ancient evil stirs. Okay, thanks. See ya. Nice chatting with you. Okay, that's all we get. It was just a dream. It was all a dream. Grandma Ethor. Are you still in bed, child? Today's your special day. You didn't forget, did you? Why don't you get up and go meet me outside? Grandpa and I have a surprise for you. Chapter one, avian prophecies. Oh, we can just crawl around and pick up coins. All right, cool. All right, A to jump. I'm using the Xbox, uh, Xbox One controller for this. Seemed like the appropriate way to play this game. Uh, you can also use a keyboard, obviously. But um, just, this just felt more natural to me. So beat interact, okay. Hello. Today's the anniversary of the day Grandpa and I found you washed up on the shore of our little island. It's hard to believe. Oh, I forgot her voice. It's hard to believe. It's been five years. Oh, Grandpa Rondo, Rand, Rand, Rondo, Rando has a special present for you. Can't pronounce his name for whatever reason. 
He's been waiting for you at the favorite camp spot on top of Car Cargill Bluff. Before you go, you should equip your other hand. Oh, did you lose again? Oh my, it must be around here somewhere. Maybe you should go ask the neighbors, see if they've seen it. First quest, physic ramp on the bluff. I like the sliding animation. Animation's pretty fun in this. It's really cutesy, I like it. Uh, all right, so let's go find our hand. So we have missing a hand. Um, I, I remember that from the description of the game um, that we uh, arrived on this shore here with missing a hand. Oh, what is this? You found the control scroll. It is information about the game's controls. Well, that's handy. I love that there's like an in fiction controls. Like, is this, is, 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 is he actually reading that and just confused by what it could mean? Like, what do these markings mean? It's like essentially their, their Bible. Hey, kiddo. Oh no, I haven't seen your prosthetic anywhere. Oh, oh, no, I haven't seen your prosthetic anywhere. That's how you're supposed to read that one. Have you asked the Joneses yet? Maybe you left it over there. Oh, and stop by later. I have a new invention I want to show you. Okay, can't wait. I love inventions. Welcome to Cargill Island. Cargill Bluff is that way. All right. Any mail? Ethorin Rondau's house. I'm going to say Rondau. Rondau. Residence. All right. Little outhouse. I mean, let's inspect the outhouse by all means. Okay. Nothing going on in the outhouse. But it is fully inspected now. Glad, glad we can help out the town. Oh, how's it going, ma'am? Good morning, Adrienne. I'm surprised to see you up so early. Oh, did you lose your uh, prosthesis? No, I haven't seen it. Why don't you go inside and check with my husband? I will do just that. Got a lovely home here. Oh, grandfather clock? What? Current time is 7, 7 a.m. Jeez. I'm just gonna crawl around your floor, don't mind me. Looking for my hook. Looking for my hook. Yes, it is a hook. It's a little spoiler here. They keep saying prosthesis. But uh, I, I've seen from the screenshots. You've probably seen from the screenshot thumbnail for this. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get that back on for you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. They won't watch that one. Okay. No? What? Oh, your hand? Go ask James. Don't, don't want to interrupt your iPhoning. Behold, yeah, I have your hand, all right? I hid it in my secret hideout. Mystery. All right, don't bother looking for it. You'll never find it. All right, is that all you have to say? Yeah, I have your hand. Okay, same thing. All right. Can we really make, make this guy mad by turning his TV off, off and on? No, but you can't make him mad. He's just going to zone out there. What do we have here? James's journal. My new super top secret hiding hideout is complete. It's so secret that not even the creepy kid next door will find it. Even mom doesn't know where it is, and it's right next to her garden. Well, that's an odd thing to leave on the kitchen table here, buddy. So uh, maybe fold up your fold up your diary and put it away next time. Um, I'm the creepy kid next door. I'm sure he meant something else. I'm sure. I'm sure it doesn't mean me. He can't possibly mean me. There we go. You found your trusty prosthetic hook. Now you can grab ledges of rings and defend yourself from baddies. There's X for swing. Okay. Oh, like that. I can activate switches. I can jump on the rings. I hope James doesn't mean to you again. I wish you two were better friends. Yeah, well. Your son's kind of a psychopath. Sociopath, possibly. Just hiding my hook for no good reason. I have my hook. I have it. What are you gonna do about it now? What do you want, Stumpy? Go away, I'm busy. Okay, you're a real piece of work. I do not want to be friends with you anyways. No, thank you. All right, so now we're supposed to be meeting Grandpa on the bluff, and the bluff was said to be over this way. What do we have here? On vacation, we're away island hopping on our brand new steamboat. Our ultimate destination is Donsail, Don Donsail Island. Donsail City. See you, we'll see you when we get back. Donasail, Dona, Donasail City. See you when we get back. Love Brooks and a Barney. Brooks and Barney. Oh, that's that's cute. All right. What do you have up here? Hello, butterfly. I won't hurt you. Mayor Goodrich's residence. Oh, are you the mayor? Hi. Mayor Goodrich. Have you seen Lucinda anywhere around? I think she was looking for you earlier. 
She always seems to get in trouble when you're around. She needs to spend more time studying or she'll never get into Island College. Is Island College a prestigious uh, place? Or is it the only place we have? Just a thought. Whee! Can I jump? Like, that will take fall damage if I fall off here? Ah! Ah! Nope, oh, okay, good. So everyone in this town apparently hates me. Hello, you must be uh, Lucinda. Hey, are you going to explore the cave? Yes, it is. My mom said she'll ground me if I go in there again. She said there are two dangerous creatures living in there. And sometimes I hear a scary growling sound coming from inside, but you don't have to worry. If something tries to attack you, you can just swing your hook at them. That is true. What is this? Nothing to interact with there yet. All right. Well, I tried. And failed. Danger. The path to Cargill Bluff can be dangerous. Proceed at your own risk. Okay, so this is the way to go. But danger abounds. What do we have here? Save your progress. Sure. Let's do it. All right. Save point. That's what the save points look like. Kind of a cool animation. Okay, let's get up there. Let's get this guy. Uh, looks like we can go down here as well. There's a hook there. Uh, I'm going to go up first because, I mean, chances are if I fall, I'm going to end up down there anyways. So let's go up first. You can always come back for the down later. Ah! Gonna have to adjust to the, the speed of attacking here. It's a little slower than you think it should be. Oh, oh boy. The reach is a little longer than you think it should be, though. Oh, all right. Eat to regain food by pressing, or regain health by pressing uh, B. Okay. What is this? There's a crack right here. All right. So this is kind of going to be like some kind of like Metrovania thing, I'm thinking, maybe, where we can get access to certain areas like that. We can keep an eye out for them later and remember that they're there, maybe? I don't know exactly. I mean, it's just, it just, ouch, ow, okay. It just said puzzle platformer is all it really said so far. If I do this, okay, like this, I see. Ow, again. Puzzle platformer indeed. Ouch. Okay. Okay, B. All right, nice. Yeah, I don't know if this is, it'll take the form of a Metroidvania or if it'll be taken just kind of as a regular adventure. Hey, kid, I was starting to worry you weren't coming. It's a beautiful night, hmm? Good view of the stars from up here. I fear this newfangled technology is making these folks lose sense of the wonder one gets looking at the sky. Sometimes I feel the urge to get away and live a simpler life. That's why I'm not always around much anymore. But well, you didn't come up here to hear this old man ramble. Today's your special day. I guess we'll never know what your real birthday is. You still don't remember anything from before the day we found you, hmm? It's okay. Someday you will come to. Someday he'll come to you. I'm sure of it. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Grandma and I found this strange old map on the beach the same night we found you. I'm not sure if it's connected to your past, but it certainly is a unique item. I can't say if I've ever seen a real, real magic in my life, but this map? Well, see for yourself. Got a map. Whoa. What, what did I say? Have you ever seen anything like that? Go ahead, open it up and take a look. Press start to open the menu, which contains your inventory and map. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, okay. So like, it's like a 2D world. The entire world is two dimensional. It's awesome. I love it. You, do you see this, how this island just reappeared? I bet you could chart any island in the world just by setting foot on it. It's an adventurer's dream come true. Take it. It's yours. Someday you may decide to have an adventure of your own. I hope you will find all that you have lost. Now hurry up and get going. You know how grandma gets if you aren't home by dark. Completed. Nice. So yeah, it's no secret in this game. I mean, no spoiler at all to say this, but this game is going to focus on uh, sailing a little bit. And... Um, it would be amazing if uh, if the map just like continued on and on and on, like going left, we should sail left, we'd eventually find an island that the match what we were just at again, because that would be really fascinating. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of neat. It's just that's I like the idea. I like the potential. We'll see how it plays out here in a minute. Oh, don't don't fall damage there. Okay, so we are definitely the chosen one here because we can take whoa monsters at night. Okay. Dangerous part of town. 
Everything's boarded up around here. What was this one's about? We're close for renovations, okay. And it's just a lock, okay. Everything's all locked up. Well, we get money for killing stuff, so might as well do it. Oh, this gotta jump down here. Nice. 50 bucks already. I want, I want to jump down. I can't jump down like... Okay. I don't know how to jump down like that. Maybe I gotta press a different button there. Okay. Aha! I was just about to go looking for you. Did you see Grandpa? Good. Now we best get some sleep. Early bird gets the worm. This is a big day. I mean, I didn't do anything today. I guess this is me and my grandparents sleep in the top bunk? That's weird. Yep, go sleep and save my progress. I guess. Another dream? Okay, the other night? Nope, just a normal day. Wida. Is it really? Hey kid, wake up. I've got a life changing opportunity for you. Come on, wake up already. Hey, I couldn't help but notice that map you've got. You must be a true adventure of a relic like that. I've been looking for an adventure to help me find some rare and valuable treasures, but I'm getting ahead of myself. First introductions. I'm Wida. I'm a parrot, as you might have noticed. And you are... You don't remember anything? Not even your name? Well, that won't do. Well, how about I go call you Peep? Yeah, I think that fits you. Now that we're friends, Peep, I feel like I can tell you my secret. I'm looking for 12 legendary treasures that are said to grant a wish to anyone that locates them all. There must be something you, could, you should wish you would wish for, right? Even better, I just happen to know the exact location of the first treasure. But with that map of yours, I, or we, could find all 12 of them, no problem. So what do you say, peep? Are you ready for the treasure and adventure? Yes! What if I say no? That's the spirit! I could tell right away you're an adventurer with heart, at heart. Now the first thing with that decent adventure needs is a plan. Good thing I'm here. You don't seem like the planning type. So step one, our plan is secure a vessel. Do you know where we can get a decent boat around here? Let's go look around. Chapter two, the incredible shrinking boat. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. We're just going to leave and, uh, we just introduced ourselves to the town. We're already going to leave. And then also this character didn't have a name before this parrot showed up five years after we arrived here. These guys never named him. They got to call him something. Just calling kid, saying "Hey kid." I guess they have been saying "Hey kid" a lot, but like, how how do they not know my name? Like, they've given me a name at this point for sure. Oh, one more thing: if you're ever not sure what to do next, you can just ask me. Remember, I'm the expert here. Press bass back, ask Wider for help. Okay, cool. Does he land on my head when I stop moving? He sure does. Okay, cool. I finally done it! My prototype, the goo goo glue scap, is working. I'm sort of. You invented a toy boat? I think you're a little late on that. This is not a toy, it's much more than a boat. When I s it was working for Global Global Corp, I developed a new technology that allowed me to shrink objects the size of a single pixel and back again. So although it looks like a simple boat, it's really quite advanced. I you can carry it with you in your pocket when you're not using it. Neat, huh? That's perfect. Can we borrow it for a while? I'm afraid not. Unfortunately, it's still missing one crucial component. A scale regulator is unstable. It needs more power. A small exitidium ex 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 crystal would do the trick, though. Exitium, are those hard to come by? Yes, and they can be very dangerous. Luckily, I know there is one on the island. I let Brooks and Barney borrow one when they're building their steamboat, but I haven't seen them around lately. I guess we'll have to wait until they get back from their trip. Might be a while before I get that crystal to take, you to take the glue scab, the glue scab out for a field test. All right, Manny needs a crystal. Okay, so let's think we start, start looking. We start back at their place over here. Doesn't look like Brooks or Barney's home right now. Hmm. Well, let's not let that stop us. Maybe they left the Exitium crystal inside. Exitium is kind of sounds silly, kind of silly. I like it. Oh, can you get in there? It had a lock on the outside of the door, mind you. So unless you're like bolt cutting through the door, I don't know how that's gonna work. Why is the TV on? Whoa! Holy cow! Um, all right. Well.
Huh. Okay, so we can throw a thing on top of this to make it go down, maybe? Nice. I think this is it. This looks like a crystal to me. Why would they put in their, their dank basement? Just, just don't know why that makes sense. Oh, this is fun too. I can't I can't climb click on the walls or anything like that when I'm carrying it. I need my hook. That's a really clever. Okay, so it's gonna stop us from carrying stuff and there's no there's no uh ledge to throw it onto. I dig that. Wow, you actually got it impressive. Now just give me a second. Whoa, she broke it. Now, there we go. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we need some someone to rigorously field test the glue scap. I can't guarantee it won't glitch out on you, but I don't foresee any major problems. Don't worry about us, we can handle this toy boat of yours. Okay, if you say so, here's all, it is all yours. Cool, glue scap is yours for now. Go ahead, try her out. All you have to do is jump in the ocean and glue scap will do the rest. Make sure you stop by the workshop on Samora Island if you have any problems. Okay, peep. Hope you can swim. Oh, that's neat. Auto boat. I love it. That's really nice. Okay. Was there anything else back in this place that we missed? Because we kind of just crawled underneath the table and that was it. Let's see if there's anything else fun in here. We're going to probably be mad that I unlocked the whole place here. But we'll see. Hold the secrets of nature's deepest mysteries. Uh, okay. So nothing here. Well, at least we know for sure now. No, don't fall back down. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. I can fall back down. Puts us back out on the ground level, at least. All right, should I say goodbye to Grandpa or should I just go? Well, um... We should probably see if Grandma wants to talk before we go. She, we left before she woke up. So it's not our house. This one is. There she is. Hi, hey Granny, the kid and I are going to take a little trip. Don't worry, a seasoned adventurer, I, I'll, he'll, will be safe with me around. Oh, Grandpa and I knew this day would come. Just hoped it wouldn't be so soon. But maybe your real family's out there somewhere. And don't forget what I've told you about animals. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Remember, you can always have a home here with us. Oh, let's thank, thanks, Grandma. Thanks for everything. I'm see you later. Got a boat to do. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, man, how's it going? Just boat things. Just boat things. It's kind of a boat guy thing. You know, you wouldn't you understand. Can't believe the shrinking boat actually works. Now there's nothing stopping us from a life of adventure. Hmm. I spoke too soon. This pathetic sail is too flimsy to get us through the rough waters. And where we're going, the waters will get rough. Okay, first mate. First mate, peep. I've got it. For step two of my or our plan, get a better sail. And I just happen to know of a particular pawn shop where we can buy one, probably. Here, take this nav, nav pearl. They have nav pearl. It works on your map to show you the location of the pawn shop, okay? Does it only work for this pawn shop? Like you bought it at the pawn shop and it only takes it at one spot? Change the coordinates for location of a sale, okay? If you open your map and select the nav pearl, the map will show you the location contained within. Then all we have to do is orient ourselves and head that direction. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Hey, it looks like we're heading the right direction. Let's go. Oh, and you have some coins, right? Nothing is free at Vinny's Pawn Shop. All right, chapter three, the Branchy Bro. All right, we'll go to the Pawn Shop then. See what it's all about. And uh, we'll save it right there. And we'll pick it up right here next time. Thank you guys so much for checking out this first episode of Treasure Adventure World. I think it'll be kind of cool. I'm really, really ready to check it out. I think it'll be kind of neat, and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.